Hello, boys and girls and everything in between. Okay, I'll make sure the sound is also good. And I am good. If I'm being a little loud, it's because last stream, I literally was looking at myself. Well, I'm looking at myself. I was listening to myself and I was so low. Like, I'm afraid to turn my mic up. Because this setting is for like all my all my stuff, so a little yeah. It sounds perfectly fine for me in game. Because I have headphones, so I can adjust my uh, <laughs> sound on my headphones. Um, so I have to make sure that I sound perfectly fine. So I, so if this game sounds loud and I'm sound low, that's a problem. So hopefully we don't have that, and if we did, if there's like one person in chat, tell me I'm low, and then I'll adjust sounds, or whatever. But it's finally here, Little Goody Two Shoes, that's been out for like two months now. Um, should have been played it. I did a little segment of myself wandering and talking about this, so basically I did do like a little bit of a recording series on this by that I mean like one episode with me X Party Super let's just say ended in a mess and I did not want to post that so we're doing a me myself and I version right now where it's just all me little goody two shoes of course we're gonna have to go to new game because yeah also if you're any noises or anything it's also because uh it is thunderstorming up like right now and I'm on top of the second floor right now so it's very loud I, don't, I can hear you with my headphones on once upon a time in the heart of a remote valley an elderly woman ventured deep into the woods in search for mushrooms love the music when all of a sudden she heard a loud cry in the distance my goodness I'm making these sounds it's not like Mickey Mouse Aww. Cradled inside of a rope basket was a cheerful baby girl. Oh my, what do I do? Wish I did have Super and X Bar, but there's a reason why they're not here. Worry not, my dear. I'll name you Elise. And so Holly and Elise spent their days together in the village of I didn't get to finish. <laughs> Both grew closer, so did their love for one another. Well, it's as both, but, you know, I can't read. Look, Granny, look. Foo foo foo. Well done, Elise. Not all bliss lasts forever, as time went by. Oh, a little magical wand. My job already sing this because I did do like the little hour segment that I did with this. So did Holly's. I'll take care of you. I'll do whatever it takes, Granny. Don't cry, my love. You always wanted it. I'm sure you'll cherish it. Foo foo foo. Granny. I love you, Elise. Oh, my granny died. Oh, Super's here. Hi, Super. You put a monkey in chat. I'm restarting Little Goody Two Shoes because your mic was ferocious and x -Par was, I don't know what he was doing in, the, in, in that, so. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. He was on his phone mostly. For goodness sake, there goes my last match. Okay. For goodness sake. I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, Elise. Swap, sweep my floors, Elise. Elise, Elise, Elise. Oh, huh. I show them. I make them scrub my pots and pans, my shoes even. Have them wipe 
all help <laughs> have them wipe down all my windows every last one also i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not a good reader well, at least I'm good at reading in my head. I don't read out loud very often. So that's why, even in the classroom, um, I would super, oh uh, yeah, uh-huh, you know. Even though I was reading the classroom as a child, I, I'm still that close to the child range, but uh, I'll be messing up left and right. Performance anxiety is real when it comes to reading for me. So, I might start saying gibberish, but, please, in your hearts and minds, know that it's not you, at least, that has to go through this. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Also, Super, if you're still in the chat, is it, like, is it loud for you? Am I, like, um, loud enough? It's, like, questions I have to ask before I really continue, because that will basically decide this entire course of my life. I don't know. I'm kind of waiting for chat because this is like stream delay. I don't know if he's even still looking. Who knows? Well, until he answers, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, have them wipe down all my windows. I just read that part. Clean out my hearth and fetch me some water. Better yet, I'll have them running around call me Miss Elise all day. You're all good. Thank you. I just needed to make sure if I was like sounding crazy because my last stream that was really low i don't want this one to also be really low oh, if only i were rich all the steak i could ever want all the shiny dresses one for each day of the week with shoes and jewels to match and maids all the maids i ever want Oh, if only. Well, one can dream. Elise, from a mystery person, who's whoever that is. Oh, for goodness sake. Also, oh, for goodness sake is like such her catchphrase in this. Like, that is like her entire thing. Oh, for goodness sake is what she says so much in this. On your way home, lass. What are you doing wandering about in the dark, Elise? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wondering about Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in danger, Elise. If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you. I'd be home already had you not stopped me for an earful. Come now, Elise. We've got good reason to worry. All this vigilance for what? What am I afraid of? The witch? Watch your words, Elise. You're not to question such matters. What do you say we walk you home? I believe I'll be fine on my own, Mr. Hentrich. I promise you, even when Super and Expert was here, I still didn't know how to say this guy's name. Henridge? Something rich. It literally has rich in its name right there. No more detours, Elise. It's uh, for your own good. Lest I come across the witch, I know. Let's hope as you don't come to regret your words, lass. Okay. Oh, I can't stand these folks. Okay, this... Okay, so... I'm looking at all the interactions because before I kind of just skipped over this I mean of course I understand that the movement and the interaction but I understand that you could run so when I was actually doing parts where I needed to run I wasn't running and I died multiple times so <laughs> now, how does one run in this huh we talked about it oh it's shift it's shift oh okay okay it's telling me that it's a different key but then it's okay okay i want to i'm not gonna talk about that i'm not gonna talk about that how oh, it's uh blatantly lying to me hop skip jump la 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 into the forest we go personally i could never just go into a dark forest at night 
Not because uh, possibly uh, witches apparently just showing up anywhere. Um, animals, bears, wolves. This is clearly a time where uh, there's no cars, so the wild is very much the wild, and there's very much rabbit animals out there. So <laughs> good times. Shift. It's shift. Yeah, I I, I know now. <laughs> Uh, pine tree, this pine tree, that. Everything is about pine trees around here. Uh, right, it's Kieferberg, Viewpoint, Kieferberg Peak. I remember I have to go this way. I actually tried to go this way before. Um, I'm going to be referencing my playthrough for the first one, but after I get pers uh, past a certain point, it's going to basically be all mystery to me. I try to go this way because I don't know left from right, so... Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, gimme. I got something berry. Grapes. Okay. Give me some grapes. Well, at least I'm gonna try to do the same things I did before. Oh. When I first did my playthrough. For goodness sake! Well, I say playthrough, but for like an hour play. It's impossible to keep this lantern lit in this wind. Guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. Oh, it's a save. Oh, what was that? Like a static thing happened there. I don't remember that in the game. Yes, I'll save my progress. I'm probably gonna, like, yeah, play it for like a little bit, so I'm gonna overdo all this. Don't worry about that. So I'm never going to come back to that playthrough, if I'm being quite honest. It, it was a mess. <laughs> so we are done with that. Oh, it's R for back. I gotta remember this. R is for back. Okay, let's go inside. I have to find my matches. Uh, actually, where are the matches? I forgot it. I got the broom. Okay, fun fact about this broom. So, I literally spent 30 minutes trying to find a broom when I realized um, I did actually pick it up. I picked the room up, and then I was trying to look for the broom after I already picked it up and I was like wait didn't I already get the broom so 30 minutes of me trying to look for a broom that uh I already had it was like very painful like it was so bad at least they didn't get into this trunk despite its visibly worn appearance the old trunk keeps its contents safe and secure okay well, that's good for them da 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 Oh, oh, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Ee, I'm passing. What? What was that thing? I, I was dreaming or you're having a uh, psychic breakdown, right? What is it? What is it called? Psychotic breakdown right now. <laughs> this painting right here literally was the figment of your imagination. Was that a painting or is that like a tapestry? I don't know. It's like a rug. Not entirely sure. What was I thinking leaving it here? Quiet tinderbox. I have to light the fire now. How does one light a fire? Use lantern with control. Okay. Uh, reserve your matches, light your lantern, be careful not to waste them. Yeah, so it's control to, like, light your lantern. Okay, so this is something I didn't know before, also, because I was being really hasty. I was being really hasty, so I was playing the game, blind, couldn't run, couldn't see anything. It was god-awful. I don't have the time to be tidying up this mess up. A big shiny, a big shiny iron pot. The inner surface 
covered with scratches. Okay. Also, if I read something and it's not in the exact way it, it's like presented, I'm sorry. Because it said in. And there's a lot, of, lots of lot of things that changed in there. But I'll try to basically get the same context out of it. I'm not leaving until I make sense of what happened here. What am I? Oh, I know what I have to do. Good grief. What if it was that witch the town folks have been going on about? Keep it together, no. Elise. Like she already said, keep it together, Elise. It was definitely a burglar. At least some terrible burglars then. It's like the home alone burglars that come into your house and you can't even steal stuff properly. Uh, that said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. I already got the broom. This is the part when I was like, oh, where's the broom? After I already got the broom. So it's weird. What was down here again? I don't remember what was even down here. Oh, it's a well. Oh. This is the time you're watering the garden. Garden? I see land. <laughs> Whether by time the well's wooden structure stands frayed and worn garden where's this garden you speak of it's pretty uh dead i don't see a bit i don't even see a weed in here like this is like a proper like land to be like sowing like plants on not having a weed in there you know how great like easy those things grow okay let's go run run at least run Ah, uh, look at the beautiful, beautiful, um, sky and the town. I can go call for help, but no, not a chance. I'll deal with this mess myself. Kieferberg's rooftops decorated the rolling hills far off in the distance. Oh, yeah. Hello? Oh my. Oh, she's got the broom. I forgot about this part. <laughs> there you are, you shameless thief. Out with it. Give me back all you took. Huh? Right. Hurry it up. Oh, she does beat beat her. Oh yeah. Now, <laughs> wait, please. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I sorry I make these voices while I'm reading. I just I just do it. I don't know if people oh, like it or not, but I'm gonna keep doing it because that's what I do. Explain yourself, you wretch. What are you doing in my house? Wait, please don't hit me. I was just hiding. There was these men and I... I won't ask you a second time, thief. Hurry it up. Give me back everything you took right now. I didn't take anything. Well, Chloe shouldn't take anything. Like, she's still in rags and got a straw hat. <laughs> I wouldn't even call that a straw hat. That's literally a, a, was it a wheat hat. Where's a straw? It looks like it's made of wheat. Or some kind of grain. I was just scared. Please, I beg of you. Hmm. Show me your hands. Oh, but I... They're dirty. I didn't take anything, ma'am. Now show me your pockets and make it quick. I keep telling you I didn't steal anything, ma'am. This is all I have, I swear. Coins and weeds? Why do you have weeds in your pockets though? I don't think that's a weed. It looks like a probably like a flower or some kind of um herb. Why would you have like a general like some kind of everyday weed you will find on the side of the road in your pocket <laughs> could you imagine someone just having that in their pocket oh like you take something out you see just tons of just weed you found inside the street in someone's pocket i mean it's kind of harmless in a way but also weird like why would you have that in your pocket of course this is a different time here apparently different worlds i guess having weeds in your pockets are uh, a fashion statement <laughs> 
What are you doing up here in the mountains? I'm a traveler, ma'am. Turn around. I'm in the whole full check around, okay? You say you're a traveler. Are you all by yourself? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm traveling alone. Hmm, I don't fully believe you. I remember a certain goat. Hmm, I hope I could rest uh, for the night in this village, but I saw people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I to find some place to hide. I mean, I guess like, you know, it's dark and the woods are scary, so definitely trying to find a place to hide or go to is reasonable, but why are you in the woods in the nighttime in the first place? <laughs> It's not very, and for uh, I guess I could say a petite little little girl like you, so frail and so so cute to be just wandering in the woods at night. A little suspect, but we won't talk about that part right there. Um, you clearly your clothes are clearly in patches and everything, but uh, yeah. But I mean your skin is is glowing just as much as Elise who lives in a very much house. So you have good skin care. I can say that much. Be that as it may, you're still... Oh, oh please forgive me, ma'am. I like how she starts advancing and then Elise starts getting pushed back. Oh, shush it! Just stop calling me that. Uh, I'm, I'm... sorry. Yeah, I don't have to say it. She said it herself. For goodness sake. Hmm. All right, well... I might let you go if you can prove your innocence, that is. I don't know what else I can do, ma'am. Hmm. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. Also, I, I feel like a very heated debate that me, Super, and X-Par got in was basically, well, you'll know her name soon. Like, I'll, I'll let you figure out her name if you haven't seen already anything by, with little goody two-shoes, you'll figure out her name. And then you can, I... ma'am? I did it! Yes, that's it, I made. Listen carefully now. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you could clean my whole house from top to bottom. That'll teach you not to go storming into strangers' homes. I'm sorry, I... I ma'am? Uh... Complaining already, are you? Wouldn't you agree? This is the la least you can do? Uh, yes. Oh, of course. I I'll gladly do it, ma'am. <laughs> Good. In exchange, I suppose you can stay here. But no more thieving. I'm not a thief, ma'am. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. Anyhow, you work for me and I'll give you a place to stay. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? Hmm. It does sound fair, ma'am. It's very kind of you, but I am not a thief, ma'am. Fine, you're not a thief. Now, would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? I'm sorry. I don't. I apologize. All right. My name is Elise, and you best remember it. Uh, yes. I'm so sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. This, uh, Rose Marine. First, I thought it was Rosemary, but it's Rose Marine. I believe that's how it said. My name is Rose, Rose, Rosen, Mar Rosen, Rosen Marine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elise. For goodness sake! For goodness sake! Just, just Elise is fine. Come now, we have a lot to work to do. So basically, the debate we were having was basically, um, her. Well, we knew she's not a thief, but it was the fact that. Until further notice, she did actually break into Elise's home and just trample all over it. Like, someone literally had to come inside Elise's house and throw everything whichever way, which I have only gotten so far into the game, so I'm not entirely sure, but it was a very heated debate about how she literally, well, I guess Elise was being very mean to her, which I will say a bit true. But this woman did come into her home, supposedly, I say this with my fingers, um, and trample 
and destroy kind of, I wouldn't say destroy, actually she did destroy some plates and stuff, technically, her, in her house. Unless that was someone else. But Rosemary didn't say anything otherwise, saying that it wasn't her. She just apologized for it, which is kind of just like accepting the fact that you did do it. So it's uh, like, what is going on here? How could someone as cute and innocent as you, I say innocent with innocent, um, let's just put it like that. Uh, and she comes into someone's house and starts big footing, stomping everywhere and pushing stuff all around. Like I have to assume that she had like a real like wacky anime incident where somehow she got something in her eyes and she fell down and it just came, became a snowball effect kind of situation and everything's all over the place. You have a lot of work to do. Yes, of course. This is a weird time to join. Oh, expert! Yay! Hi! Alright. I'm playing Little Goody Two Shields again. Which I'm gonna actually have to go use the bathroom really quickly because I didn't use it during the time I should have, so. That is my bad, so. Little bathroom break early on. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta use the bathroom.
Okay, we're back. That should not have taken that long. It's crazy how you can be like trying to use the bathroom and everyone wants to talk to you and basically do all this random stuff. I was doing everything along the way. Really shouldn't have been that long. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. How, could, how could you... Yeah, how could you even do all this? There you go. Look at my floors. I'm so sorry. Oh, she already said it, so I'm guessing myself. Even Granny's plates shattered to pieces. What are you, a wild boar? I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. They got that question. Did she actually do this? Like, these are some... Like, look at her feet. And look at the footprints. I mean, if anyone would like these small feet and the footprint, the, fo the math isn't mathing up right. Let's say it like that. Footprints, her feet. Um, yeah, it's just, it's very weird. I'll say that much. All right, well, you know what you did. Anyhow, here, take this. Make certain you get into every nook and cranny, you hear? Yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney, clean the fireplace, too. Uh, do the stuff that she didn't actually do herself, okay? And wipe this, that stain off my wall. And wash all my windows. Okay, I don't know if she dirty the windows, but okay. All right. I'm the split. I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow. Understood? Of course. of course. For goodness sake! And I told you to stop calling me that. Uh, I'm sorry. Also, something that Rosemary says lies. Uh, I'm sorry, so I don't have to really say it myself. I gotta learn that. Uh, come back. Come now. Let me show you the uh, well out. Out the back. Oh, but I... oh, I can do it myself, Elise. Anything to make up for what I've done. Look here, Lass. Was it Lassie? Yeah, Lassie. I have no good reason to trust you. I didn't mean to. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. Let a burp there. Excuse me. Uh, dare to cross me even once and I'll have a word with the townsfolk. Which is crazy because like, just saying people do smother someone in their sleep. Let's just say it like that. So if I'm going to be like staying with somebody, I don't want to like make death threats technically without having some kind of backup or something because uh, that pillow be, that pillow be hitting strong sometimes. Will it be impacting your breathing? <laughs> Are we clear? Yes, Elise. And if she doesn't smother you, then probably stabbing you would also do the same thing. Um, I'm sorry, I'll do my best. Be careful not to wake me either. I have Sunday mass to attend to tomorrow. I'll keep quiet. Good, good night, Elise. I can go to bed. Oh, if I can get past this, this freaking chair. Stupid chair. Oh, no, I didn't mean to go back down. I think this isn't Granny's room. It's been a long time since I've gone to Granny Holly's room. Not that there's anything to see there, anyhow. This, this name has like such a good ambience. Like everything has a sound to it that should have a sound. Let's put it like that. So it really gives you that uh, immersion. Now you've done it. Now you've done it, Elise. There was hardly a need to be that rash, but still. What if she's dangerous or worse? Even what if she's the witch the townsfolks have been talking about? Oh, what would a Granny Holly do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. I even threatened to tell her on her, too. What's done is done, I suppose. I'll make sense of it tomorrow. 
It's best I go to bed. Sunday. Okay, this time I realized food. Huge issue. Sanity. Huge issue. <laughs> I'm have to worry about that because I didn't really care about it before. And I, I was, uh, what, what is the word? What is the word they say? I was, uh, taking the consequences of my actions. There we go. Uh, it's morning already. Love the music too. It's beautiful. Can't be late for Sunday mass or Father Hans will. Good grief, what was I thinking? She's probably taken everything I own by now. Which would be like a smart burglar thing to do. I mean, personally, if I was a burglar. I would have probably uh, robbed you blind before you even got to the house. <laughs> so you wouldn't see me. Manage your normal food and key items through the item menu. Item menu can consume, you can consume and use items through the item menu as well. Thank you. First, if I was a burger, I'd been like, everything you own, mine now. Mine. I like the nice little spinning wheel down there. Like, if we're gonna do some uh, Prince, what is it? Um, what's that Goldilocks? No. Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I was really having to go through all the Disney princesses, like, which one fell asleep? Because there's actually like two of them there's Snow White <laughs> and there's Sleeping Beauty. I mean, the other one got poisoned, but we won't talk about that part. Uh, maybe not. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but... Hey! Rose and Marine! Rose and Marine, okay, yeah, so I said Rosemary. Rose, yeah, I think I said Rose and Marine, yeah. Was that her name? I can't believe she tied it up and left just like that. I didn't even give her anything to eat last night. The poor thing. Now, where where could she have gotten to? The only place where she loves to live, in the barn. Cause that's where, what is it? Healthy young women like to go to the barns for whatever reason. It's not even a barn. Chicken coop, really. Not even a chicken coop. Maybe, maybe it might be like a bird's nest area. I don't know. For some kind of chicken, I have to say. Or maybe it's a granary. It could be a small Marie. granary, I guess. For goodness sake. There you are. <sighs> Honestly. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm sorry. I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but... I was afraid I'll get lost in the dark. Never mind. Come with me now. Are you taking me to the village? What do you take me for, some wretch? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moments. I... I didn't intend to be such a brute, truth be told. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did too. Well, she literally just said I'm sorry for what I did too, so... I'm assuming that she literally broke into our house. Then trampled over everything. Uh, like I said, I think she had her like a little wacky cartoon anime moment where a snowball effect, something got in her eyeballs, and she starts running around the place. Somehow she puts on bigger shoes that she, she can't even wear. <laughs> starts stomping around the place. It's just a whole mess by the end of it. Let's put it like that. For goodness sake. I got it. All of that's dead and buried. Now come, I'm running late for Sunday mass. Uh, wait for me, Elise. Okay. Gotta do this really quickly. Make sure everything's good. Okay, let's go! Oh, she's right beside me. Flock. Flock? Who flock? Oh, it's the, it's the little deer? Fluffy companion? Oh, it's a goat. I, I said deer. I just said deer. Oops. 
Oh no. I don't know a deer from a goat. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so relieved to see you. <laughs> Where have you been? Hmm. He's been frolicking, of course. His name is Flock. So he's gotta go frolicking in whoever knows where. I hope we get to see more of this um this goat because literally we didn't well I will say the first like hour or two I played in the game, Flock was literally still just a a figment of my imagination. But as in like he was there and then that was it. Barely mentioned. Maybe that one time it was mentioned. Uh, you know this goat? Of course. We met uh, on the way to Kieferberg. We've been together since. <laughs> yes, we were. We were. Oh, he's so. He's the cuttiest little thing, isn't he? The cuttiest little thing, you say? I also get going. I wouldn't want to be late for Sunday mass. Uh, yes. Something's like some part of me like thinks that um this is a bit like what is it foreshadowing? Because there's something called suspiciousness where you can be uh, suspicious of at least of being the witch. So if I wonder if like not attending Sunday Mass is equivalent to basically being you're a witch because you don't serve the witch and we serve or you're not doing a good job of serving it so witch burn the stake die flare what's about to happen uh I have to say you did a decent job tidying it up you did pretty much everything I asked you to do I want to assure you I meant no harm Elise I kept up, uh, I kept, it kept me up for hours last night thinking you'd, oh, it. I get it already, no need to tell me. Here, have some bread, you must be hungry. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. You're really too kind. For goodness sake. Yeah, she beat you with a broom, but, uh, that's kind. <laughs> Remember what, I hit you with a broom, right? Called you a thief, made you... Do my bidding and whatnot. Most folks would have tossed me out right at the moment they found me, but you didn't. Instead, she hit you, abused you, then made you work for her for free. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's just. I think I'd rather someone just kick me out than hit me, then abuse me, and then make me uh, clean for them. Yeah. I suppose I didn't, but I guess if I was had to fend for myself in the woods against a wood, like wolves or something, I'd be like, you know what? I'd rather you hit me with a broom than a wolf um, bite my neck clean through. I'll say that much. Anyhow, I'm heading out. All right. Don't wonder about and don't make a mess. Of course. I won't, Elise. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh. Uh, talk to your favorite girl when you see a heart above her head to schedule a romantic date. So, I don't know how many playthroughs I'm going to have of this, personally. Let me make that very clear. I don't know if it's going to be a one-off thing and then never return, or if it's going to be multiple things, depending on how people feel and how I love this game. Personally, I already still love it. I really like it. I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't like it. Um, but... To choose one girl, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure if we're gonna. I'm not sure if we're gonna be um, what is it? A player? We're gonna be a what is it? F boy? And we're just gonna like literally. Okay, you know we're gonna choose you on this day. We're gonna choose you on that day. We're gonna choose you on that day. We're, we're gonna have them like their dresses for each day. I make it sound really bad, because it is. So I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna commit, or if we're gonna play. <laughs> For now, I like Rosemary. I'll say it like that. I like Rosemary. So I think me and her could uh, get together, I guess. Uh, I, sh I shouldn't say F boy. I should say F girl, actually, because Elise is a girl. We can have F girls, too. Kind of. Not, not as much as boys, though, because the difference in gender. Let's put it like that. Uh, uh, before you go, Elise. Hmm? What you want? I just wanted to tell you if you could come meet me later today. 
What's keeping you from telling me now? Uh, well, it's important, so... I'll be back by nightfall, alright? For goodness sake. It best be worth my while, you hear. I promise it's nothing bad. We'll see about that. All romantic dates are marked with an icon. Attend Sunday Mask. What is this? Meet Rosemary at dusk. Would you like to revisit the game tutorials? Uh, no. How do I use the map again? Is it tab? No, that's something else. Oh, let's suspicion rate. My hunger, my sanity. Okay, uh, what else? How do I go into my inventory again? I've literally forgotten. I pro actually, I probably should got the tutorial again. Literally. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. How did this get there? I have no idea what you're talking about, Super. I'll get an earful from Father Hans if I don't hurry up. Oh, what was that static right there? Okay, unlock the map. We're not gonna talk about that. How we just saw that static. Crazy? Okay. M. I'm at the grapevine path. I wonder if these grapes are actually like really delicious or if we could actually eat them because be quite honest with you. Don't eat wild grapes. Don't eat any wild fruit in general, really. Without uh, knowing a little bit about them. Because I, I ate wild fruits before. And I was lucky. That nothing happened to me. There used to be uh, wild fruits. I already told Super and X part of this. There used to be wild fruits. Like wild little berries where we lived. And we would eat them as children. And then um, I realized you're not supposed to do that because there could be bad things in those things in those fruits uh little berries uh like for instance little worms or stuff like that so one day i was like i was eating and i looked at it i pulled it up to the sun like oh let me look and i saw some stuff moving in there i was like no 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 i've been eating these <laughs> it was terrible it was god awful I'll tell you that much. Hop, skip, jump. I'm so glad I can run now because I literally did, when I first played this, I didn't even run. I was just literally walking everywhere. I guess I'll do like a little save. Yes, I would like to save. This will be my second save. Thank you. I press R for back. I love the music, it's so good. This also means I don't have to put music inside my own video, so. Well, it's not really a video, it's a stream now. But maybe if someone's watching this, maybe then it's a video. There you are, Elise. Oh, it's Gretel. Come here, why don't you? Good day, Granny Gretel. Oh my, on your way to mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Hans off my back. I have some fresh buns, they'll cheer you up. Why don't you take a look? She's probably like one of my favorite characters. Like she's such a, looks like a sweet little old lady. Like look at her cheeks. Like the way they design her, it reminds me so much of like, like the old, how they used to like draw old animes, like how they made like the old people look. <laughs> she reminds me of that. She kind of reminds me of the character. Like, what is it? Um, if you ever seen like Rama One Half, uh, the, like the little old man, she kind of reminds me of him in that sense. You see what I'm saying? This, the wrinkles on like the top of the lip made him kind of. I always thought when I saw those like wrinkles, I was like, those are those are hair. They have a mustache right there. But I was like, no. Later on, those are. Wrinkles, they're not hair. That's just showing her age. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's kind of what I remember. This is one reason why I really like this game because it really kind of looks like the older art style of that uh, animes used to have, like Rama One Half, um, Inuyasha. Um, what is that? What is the other one? 
I forget what it was called. Toshiro? Toshiro? Maybe. Maybe. I don't. I, I think I never actually I've seen it, but I saw the previews and stuff for it, so. Yeah. Uh, but we can battle on track. You always. It's always lovely seeing you at least. Um. Well, wait, what do you have again? I'm buying. You have matches. Why do you sell matches here? I have to wonder. I mean, how many matches do I have? It tells me I have nine. Okay, so. Can, do I want some more bread? Sure, I'll get some more bread because I need more bread anyway. As having future uh, knowledge, I know I'm gonna need bread. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? Red and Gretel, I do love you. You're a very nice woman, but those pretzels are expensive. I'm sorry, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very much, very broke. Those pretzels are expensive. You have to eat more, at least. Eat up. Well, if you want to give it for, to me for free, like I promise you, I will open it with ha open hands. This cat's in the way. Actually, I can go over here? Wait, there's something over here? I didn't even know there's something over here. I just decided to walk over because I usually I don't. I didn't know I walked over here. I can't see it. Okay. There we go. What was that? Oh, one pretzel. I learned new things about this game. I, I never never played that much. Also, this lady has a lot of cats. Well, I say two. It's not a lot of cats, in my opinion. I have two dogs. I won't call that a lot of dogs. More than one though. More than one though. I'll say that much. What's another goat? Maybe a flock is from over here? Wait. I think it really is worth exploring. What is this? These are for goats, I'd wager. Resting atop one of another are many blemished, discolored, and wrinkled apples awaited their turn in the stable. Oh. It's kind of like, you know, good to explore a little. Put the little exploring hat on. What is over here? I didn't even know this is a thing. Hold up. Where is this? It's been ages since I've been here, huh? Closed off from the main path and old homes. The old homes walls show their vulnerability to the woodland's overgrowth. What is this place? Mind you, when I was doing this, I kind of just was like... Is it the same thing? Yeah. I kind of was just like, play, go fast. So I didn't really, uh... Explore as much as I probably should have. This is an open world experience. A new world, really. I should be, uh, exploring it. And seeing everything for what it truly is. Oh, something over here. This is one of the salvageables, I'd say. Several sunburn sunbeams peer through many holes in the roof, shedding light to its barren interior. Wait, I just noticed. I think I've gone insane. Um, many of these buildings outside of the town uh, do look run down. Like, a lot of them, actually. Why is that? See, there's things I'm noticing that I even didn't notice when I first played this. It's been so depressing having to walk past this place every day. So this wasn't always like this. Of course it wasn't, but... Apparently, she was old enough to see when it wasn't like that. Smothered in overgrowth, the abandoned homes, every nook and cranny is bursting with clamps of moss. Why is it that these buildings are run down, though? Oh, where's this? Oh, I just went back up. Sorry, that's <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> so that, yeah, that's me being stupid there. Let's actually start going now. Let's start actually going to the place we need to go. Oh, look at this place. I remember like it was just last. It's one, two, three, like two months ago. <laughs> Can I just walk down here? Not to deal with those people. I won't lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
by the end of this like session, I'm about to be tuckered out. I said that because I'm about to be reading through all this dialogue. All these people have something to say. They all have something to say. I don't want to read through everything. That's why I was kind of like, oh, x and Super, I want you to join me. So I can relieve some of the stress of having to play all these roles. I'm going to end up having mostly, was it multiple personality disorders for all these freaking voices I'm going to be doing. It was, they will st start stop being voices and start being personalities. That's how bad it's going to be. Hello, sir. Can I talk to you? I shouldn't, I shouldn't want to talk to you because I don't want to talk to anyone. Uh, good to see you at least. Oh, it must have been uh, worse up in the mountains. What was Miss Arena? Arena? There was an awful windstorm last night, Elise. Oh, I do hope nobody was hurt. We can both... We can thank both the Lord and St. Walparga. Excuse me. Uh, burped a little bit there. Uh, nobody was, but... Many of the town folks got their windows shattered and their roof tiles blown off. What about you, Mr. Henrich? Oh, it was awful. Our windows shattered. Our window shutters were ripped right off their hinges. Jesus. That is like a pretty, like, strong storm. Oh, those, those, those freaking shutters were old? Boy, that storm was a running rampant. I'll take it uh, all day to tidy up and fix everything. That's uh, all right, dears. The sooner we get to it, the sooner it will be done. I can lend a hand if you like to, Miss Arena. Oh, that's all right, Elise. Come now, you two best get inside. Okay. Hello. Maybe best to seal our windows and doors. Old Wilhelm, just in case. Ah, there she is, alive and kicking. Made it home all right last evening, I see. I did, indeed, Mr. Bernhard. Bernhard? Bernhard? That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking, Bernhard. Uh, you folks have your hands full, it seems. Folks were scared out of their wits. You make it sound like a trivial matter, old Wilhelm. Oh, it was a sight you wouldn't believe, lass. Branches and leaves piled up high against folks' doors. Entire rooftops, some of them. Uh, surely that's a bit of an exaggeration. The alley took a beating, that's for a certain. Some say they heard the wind knocking at their doors. Which is usually what the wind does. I don't know if anyone's ever been in a windy time in their life where the wind is really blowing. If you have anything on your door especially, because we have actually a reef, like for like um, one for Christmas time and then we have one literally for, um, what is it? I'll say not say Halloween, for fall. And then when it was really windy, it would start blowing and hitting the door like someone's like knocking on it. But if even if it wasn't there, the wind would still be blowing on the door, kind of hitting it. So, you know, it's a very common phenomenon, which I wouldn't even call a phenomenon of the wind blowing. <laughs> Old Jokshin, don't know I said the name either still, says it might have been the witch herself, but... Oh, here we go again. You could never be too certain, lass. Anyhow, I'll be heading aside now, folks. Let's hope for a better night's sleep this evening. May the Lord be with you, Wilhelm. Uh, story events. All story events are marked with a book icon. If marked by a time icon, they'll be skipped one time period. Okay, I never talked to this woman, actually. Everything all right, Miss Linda? Oh, Elise. Would you take a look at my poor flowers? They look perfectly fine. Are we looking at the same flowers? I don't see, any, I don't see anything wrong with them. <laughs> the windstorm really uprooted all of them from their pots. 
it was really that big of a storm. Also, as someone that sells flowers, like I don't, I don't mean like me, but if you have a shop that's selling something, do you keep the stuff that you're selling outside for anyone to literally come by and be like, ooh, pretty flower. <laughs> Let me go and just take that up. Is that what you do? I mean, personally, as a salesperson, I would keep my very much flowers that I'm selling. Not outside for anyone to come take, which I guess this is a small community, so they have to worry about someone taking something. I'm having to guess. So it's like well-knit com community where it's everyone knows each other, so no one's going to steal anything unless they're done for stealing. Which I got to say, that's the, probably the bad part about close communities, because if one person does something wrong, everybody knows. And then once you're kind of ruined, everyone's going to be like, it's probably that person over there because they have a bad reputation. Which already happens in society even without like well-knit communities, but still happens. Was it really that big of a storm? It was only a little windy up at the peaks. Why, you've seen all the branches scattered about town? I heard Burnhill's roofs nearly came off. Oh, it was so frightening. I suppose. Okay, let's let's end this. Can I talk to this dog? I should rather talk to this dog than some of these other people. Such a cute dog. Oh, it's about to happen. This will be skipped. I'm gonna say like that. You know, I wanna. How do I go in my inventory again? I don't remember. Personally, don't really don't remember. Good evening, Elise. You look dreadful. Oh, thank you for such kind words. Really know how to make a guy feel good. Good morning to you too, Miss Bertha. Oh, I wasn't certain you come today, Elise. Otterly, I think her name is. Why, why wouldn't I, Miss Otterly? Bye, Elise. You look quite tired. You know, people breaking into my house, having to run around late at night in the woods, because that's a thing that uh, I do. So, you couldn't catch a wink, I'd wager. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, it must have been dreadful up in the mountains. Not at all. It seems you folks had it worse. Now, that's hard to believe. That was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. How so, Audily? Because it was a witch, I say. Oh, uh, I've had it about with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland. That's what. Oh, Audily, it's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You see, Mariel? That's what I'm gonna call her. All I can see is See, is we're running like late for mass. Goodness, what has Kiffer Bird come to? So this is like the little chatty girl group, like the old, the old. <laughs> I wouldn't say Mean Girls, but like clearly the Gossip Club, the Gossip Train. This is literally what they are. Let's like put that into notion. They're literally the Gossip Train, like old ladies or women in general having themselves a lot of gossiping and spilling the tea, <laughs> if some would say. After you, Elise. The woodland, huh? Also, something I didn't know, are, do we, don't we live in the woodland? Don't we live in a woodland? Question mark? Or is that some other place? I don't know. Elise! Good morning, Elise. Freya, oh my god, hi, I love you. I love you more than Rosemary. So I like her outfit because it's actually more put together than the Rosemary. She has patches on her stuff. The Evergreen Sweetheart, Freya. How come you're always so cheery, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. I didn't get that much sleep last night. What can we do? Oh, me neither. And all because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig. Spring? Sprig? 
could help me. Oh, Sprig. Okay, yeah. There's Sprig. I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my uh, pillow, you see. Sniffing it helps me sleep better. It uh, leaves me in such a lovely... Shush! Keep it quiet, you two. Grouchy old man, how dare you talk to us like that. Which actually, this is very much a public setting. In the house of the Lord, if I would say so. <laughs> They're probably in the wrong too, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wilhelm. We best uh, focus now, Elise. You're the one witting on Freya. Excuse me, I have a cookie over here that I just haven't been eating, so I'm going to be eating it too. May the Lord blessing... I'm sorry. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hollow Saint Welparga take heed of our prayers. Amen. Let me eat my cookie and, and amen. Yeah, amen. Mm, this cookie. This Saturday, we will um, once again be celebrating our Patreon. I'm sorry. Our patroness, Saint Welparga. As you all know, Preparations for the fest fest uh, festivities are already underway. Let us contribute to all to... Oh, oh my god, I can't read right now. I'm going through like a whole moment right now. Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. And that said, I am aware of what transpired last night. <sighs> Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleys. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying times. Mm. Let us trust St. Walpurga to guide our people and keep Kieferberg out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. See, I love the art style so much. So, so good. So beautiful. more of my cookie. <laughs> took you all took you all you have to get out of bed this morning, I'd wager. Also I I do not know how to say her name. Sugary Devotee. Do not know how to say her name. Her name is like I don't know how to say her name. I think I call her Leb though. Lebekachin? I don't... Well, I'll just call her Leb because personally, that name, I can't say it. I will probably have to cut my tongue or twist it just to be able to pronounce it correctly. Like, I don't understand. I don't know how to say her name. Call her Leb. Joke aside, Elise. Don't I keep telling you to uh, take your apron off for Sunday Mass? But the apron gives like such an aesthetic. It's so, so pretty. I'm certain the Lord couldn't care less. So why should you? <laughs> You're riling me up on purpose again, Leb. <laughs> Can you tell? For goodness sake. <laughs> I wager. Uh, I wager, Jesus. I best get to work now before it gets late. See you later, Don't forget to come ab uh, about later, Elise. <sighs> I won't, I won't. So, this is what I meant by, um, you know, the other girls and stuff. So, we can basically really have relationships with all of them. But the problem is, you kind of do have to devote to one, I would say. Well, at least for right now. Because we are very much very poor and we don't have any food. So, we will start starving and dying. So, some of these people, let's just say... Leb. I want to be with Leb. Hi, Leb. Their time difference was also a bit uh, different. Because everyone has a time for the, the little get together, little dates. Can't sleep much la uh, last night, could you? Could you? Didn't sleep a wink. Explains the uh, hilarity. 
You're a hopeless leb. As long as you keeps indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. She gave me pretzels? Oh, I forgot she did. Oh my god, this good stuff. Oh, you bought me my favorite. Mr. Burnham, Burnhard said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it's almost time for supper when you, when you stop by. And I told you, Miss Elma. And I, I told you, Miss Elma worked me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Mr. Bernhard was fretting over you, it's is all. Mr. Bernhard can find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are so stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there, Leb. So I'm making false promises, cause... Yeah. I saw top of these guys. Can I come over here, actually? What is this place? I remember sneaking into Father Han's study with Leb when we were children. These two rooms have nothing but junk in them anyhow. No, I want to do more exploring because I didn't do much exploring in this. What even is this? I've never seen no water coming out of here. I wonder if they've uh, if they ever been used for anything. Polished completely smooth, the pearly surface basin is un sits untouched. Yeah, I don't know what that's for. So this is like uh, St. Walparga. Basking in its holy glory, an image of, of St. Walparga solemnly washes over Kieferberg's church. What is it? What is it making me try to look for? Oh, scriptures? No wonder Fun Haunts is such a miserable wretch. I would be sued if I had to read this gibberish all day. Jesus. By the Hans, the Holy Scriptures rest upon the altar. Each page scrawled with annotations. And now I don't have Super here. The Super was also helping me. Because I'd say some words not so correctly. Let's put it like that. So, you know, some people could help me in some sense. Um, this must be Leb's Bible. Let's see. No, I can't do it. It's too tedious. I can't get past the first sentence. A copy of the Holy Scriptures rests upon the altar beneath a thin layer of dust. Let's go talk to these people over here. Hello? Uh, we best send word to... Trimpledorf before Ah Elise didn't see you there. So you know where to Primple Primdorf? Primeldorf? Primeldorf? God, don't know. Mr. Gustav? We're having folks from Primel Prim Primdorf? Primdorf lend a hand with the festivals this year. I heard the uh Windstorm wasn't as bad in the mountains last. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. This Freya's dad, I believe. Was she? You have to thank the Lord for your good fortune, Elise. Certainly, Father. Hard at work even on Sunday, are you? When aren't I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, Elise. And I'm broke. I need food. I'm gonna starve. <laughs> You let us know if you ever need a hand. You hear? Can I just like get some food, some money, something? Like, my bank account dry. I only have two pretzels. <laughs> Everything is so wrong. Of course, Mr. Gustav, thank you. Let's get out of here. Ooh, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Mysterious note. The 
something written on here. Hallowed Walpurgis, sanctified by thy name. May thy be everlasting in thy grace. All embracing, quench thou shall be on the stubborn Sabbath, Sabbath of the fall moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life, bearing grove. A prayer? There's something else at the bottom. Kieferberg's offering lies in the crossroads beyond the maypole. May the thirst be quenched, thy blessing received. In the crossroads? I wonder who dropped this. Investigate the note you found. Okay. For goodness sake. Thank goodness that's over. What a bore. To think I'd have to walk all day until evening. Yeah, time periods. Uh, all marks. Yes, yes, yes. Right now, so. How do I? How do I do it again? So current current story, help Emila with with apples. Oh, yeah, it's time events, and then this is romance. So this is for dusk. It's for afternoon. Technically, we could do all of them, but if I did, then we'd be broke. Well, actually, can we do Freya's? Could we do Freya's? Ah, at least I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. Ooh, ointment. I forgot you gave me this. You mentioned your hands are feeling dry, right? Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I use it to, uh, right before bed every night. It has wonders for the skin. I put a little lavender in there, too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, silly. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, you see. You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? Ah, so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, I best move along before it gets late. Say, Elise, I was wondering... I'm going to pick some flowers this afternoon. In the mountains. Flowers? I thought maybe you might come join me if you like. All right, I'll be there, Freya. Once again, making these uh thoughtless decisions. <laughs> Have a nice day, Elise. Cause I'm pretty sure that I can't go through all of these. Cause isn't another one in the afternoon? Hold up. What's going into her? Yeah, afternoon. Yeah, we got two people in the afternoon, we got one at dusk. Which, uh, it's not that far away. Oh, wait. This. So it's morning. There's the maps and the settings. Key items. What do I have right now? Ointment, have some food. I have a nice bit of food, actually. A lot of food, actually. I'm sitting pretty, actually. Wow. I have my broom, my tinder box, this weird notes, ointments, and everything. Okay. One thing I don't have is anything for my sanity. I also have my locket. This is for suspicion, and this is for love. So this is my many hearts I have. So yeah, I think really like. Going for just one would be like the smart choice. Like I said, don't want to be a player. Let's just go for one. I think most likely Rosemary is who we're probably going to go for. I feel like that's one of the basic ones. I say I don't want to call Rosemary basic, but I feel like it's first love, I guess, if you want to say. She was the first one. Actually, really, that's not even true because Leb and Freya were like childhood friends. So they were there clearly before her. So. I don't know what I'm talking about. My reasoning behind my statement is very flawed, but uh, yeah. So let's start 
talking to these randos over here. Hello. We can't all leave Kiefenberg over this nonsense. Leaving? Who's leaving? Oh, at least it's the witch folks keep talking, withering about, wittering on about. That windstorm couldn't have been a mere coincidence. Oh, Joshans. Calm down, Brunhild. Is it Brumhilda or Brumhild? I don't know. Think, think of your baby. Now, I'm not one to believe such things, but I thought you weren't buying into this nonsense, Miss Bertha. Why? Who are you saying? It, it's like, why? Who are you to say it's nonsense, at least? You jump to conclusions, I would say, but it is nonsense, Miss Bertha. Uh, which one will I want to go for? I would say she's jumping to conclusions because there is a suspicion level on this. So, if I may, if I pick this one, it would possibly be like, "You're a witch. You're a witch." So I'm. They'll want that. Well, it's all old Joshin's making too much of it, as usual. I hope you're right. Of course. We do, Elise. It's just... Last night was so frightening and left us all wondering. Well, you know, windstorms are usually frightening because you get blown away. Something could hit you. There's a lot of reasons to be afraid of a, like, a windstorm. But to go about saying it's a witch is pretty uh, wild, if you ask me. Wild. You don't... Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't need to be that wild. Uh, last night was so frightening, it left us all wondering. I understand Miss Dorothea, Dorothea? Yet fretting like this isn't. Worrying like this won't get us anywhere. Truly, Miss Bertha, you're right. For goodness sake. Suspicion down, yeah, so the, yeah. That w if I had suspicion, that would have put it down. Can I talk to you again? That old hag, that's what I was saying. Wait, what? Call her an old hag? Call on people old hag, okay. Anything over here? Whoa, what was that? Anybody just see that little static there? Anyone, anyone saw that? I'm not going crazy, right? <laughs> I suppose I won't be going through here anytime soon, I suppose. Not gone crazy. I'm not gone crazy, right? I guess I can go pretty deep over there. Um, not crazy. Something was going on over there. Oh, what was that? I suppose I won't be going over there anytime. Can I? Can I experience? Nope. I was just pressing shift at the time. I was like, was I making the game like? Go hyper speed or something? I don't know what's going on over there. Can I go back inside here? You know, like, is there anything people say in there different? Oh, it looks like the same thing, and I don't really care. Might come back here like an hour later or something. Um, hello, miss. I don't know if I ever talked to you. Who are you actually? Laurely? Can't be bothered to lend a hand in the alleys, Elise. Folks can look after their own homes, I'd say. Sparing yourself on Sunday, I see. As a matter of fact, I happen to work every Sunday, uh, Miss Lorley. All right, all right, whatever you say. Why? Why do you say it like that? Like you're just missing it. Like she doesn't work every day because she probably has to work every day because. She's by herself. She doesn't have her grandmother anymore. Why is it in such a demissive way? I mean, I'm looking into it a little too much, though. Say you have... Say, you have... Have you seen my niece by chance? Molly? I'll take it you have it then. No, I don't think I have, Miss Lorley. She's been up to no good lately, you see. Running around begging for food. Skipping classes. Who knows which else. I, sup I see. Nothing a good whipping can't fix anyhow. 
Is it whooping or whipping? I wouldn't be so certain. Hello, ladies. You seen what it did to the alleys? Merely? Merely? Oh, Audley, what are, are we to do with you? Is everything all right, Miss Merrily? Audley here is making too much of that windstorm is all. You'll see, Merrily. You you see what, Audley, Miss Adley? Old Joshin's right last that windstorm came from the woodlands. So from from what all I've already seen. Even from just like playing the game for two hours before, but even then, I never got to like that far into the game. It seemed to be like a lot of connecting streams. I would say with this person called Joshin. Josh Joshin? How you say his name? There's a lot of connecting uh things about people. It's like people are worried about the switch, which is you know, something to possibly be worried about because it could harm them. Excuse me. Possibly. Woo woo woo. Um, but there seems to be a lot of, this person's name seems to like really come up a lot when people are talking about the witch. Like, this is a calming factor in this entire thing. So, I can't read into this too much, but um, although he knows something about his supposed witch, or he has a hand in this, I would say. Because, you know, there's some truth in every lie, I would say. Not every lie but some lies. So maybe this guy might know something and we might have to go speak to him or something. I, I don't know, but his name comes up a lot when it comes to like the witch talk from what I can see. It's that wretched witch, for goodness sake. You best keep such thoughts to yourself utterly. The town folks are already frightened. You wouldn't want to make it worse. They want another little, what is it, town of Salem thing happening. Uh, why are simply trying to alert folks to the... Got to watch your words, dearie. That's what happens when you try Miss Merrily's patience, I suppose. <laughs> Aren't they both old, though? Oh, like how old are they? They're pretty old. Both of them are. Who are you? Working Sunday again, at least? Uh, Sundays are for taking one's leisure. If you want to give me money and food, I'm open arms. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't afford to take my leisure, old Joshin. So this is old Joshin. So he's been the one spreading a lot of propaganda. I guess. The festival's uh, this Sunday. Will uh, Elise... There won't be any shortage of work, I'm sure. You ought to look after yourself at least. So yeah, this is Joshin. Litwit's right, we're facing rather trying times, folks. Trying times, you say? That windstorm was a warning from the witch, lass. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, we'll be uh, heading out on patrol again tonight. Oh, Joshin. As for you, Elise, make certain you head on home before nightfall today. May Saint Walparga bless up you be upon us, folks. So this is the guy that's literally spreading all this uh, propaganda and stuff. Living right in the center of Kieferberg would make my life so much easier. On second thought, I'd be Miss Audley's neighbor. I like how I just stepped on that cat. I literally just stepped on it. Like, literally stepped on that cat. <laughs> oh, look at this. I heard it was a whole ordeal to get this uh, grindstone down the hill. The worn down, rough looking grindstone sits on the center of the resting area. So how long have I been going on for? Uh, an hour and probably like 40 minutes, which is it bad? I think I'll keep going still because if I'm being really honest, this game has a lot to it from what I've seen before. So I think probably going for like two hours, 
No, I mean, I don't mean like two extra hours. I mean like maybe going for an, another hour to like probably like three possibly or like two and a half. Might, might be good, but other than that, I do have a life too that I like to live. I like to play games, but also I like to do other things. Elma's home is rather folksy, isn't it? This red wall of hers is such a nuisance, though. So she has like a wall to her, into her house, I guess. Which is interesting. So I really do want to kind of explore. Because, hey, if they got some free food in here, I'll take it. I like free food. Hello, lady. Ah, here I thought I wouldn't be seeing you today, Elise. Everything fine, Miss Merchteld? Merchteld? These names, I promise you. Hard to notice the windstorm. Oh, you can't imagine how glad I am to hear that, dearie. I'm afraid I wasn't as fortunate, however. I can lend a hand with anything you need, Miss Merchteld. Thank you very much, my dear. As well, don't. F All is well, don't fret. I woke up to a pile of branches blocking my front door. That's all. I had to wait for the lads to come clear it out. Well, I'm glad it wasn't more serious. So am I, Elise. I was worried about you. Living all alone in the mountains. I could look after myself, Miss Merchetild. But I must kind of get lonely to be like, living all up, like, in the mountains by yourself because personally, I have seen too many horror movies for me to be living too far away from society. I mean, there's been horror movies of people being murdered inside of society as well, but it makes it just all that easier for you not to have any contact with anyone, to be isolated, and then clack, and then it's just end of the story. Just like clack, you're dead, you're done, bye. No one's ever gonna notice too. Well, of course they're gonna notice because it's such a like a tight community, but they won't notice you for like a long time to think, oh wait, something's wrong. Uh, oh, I can only hope we can all have a better night's sleep tonight. Let's hope. Oh, there's a lady who needs me to do some dusting. What do you say, Elise? About what, Miss Merlin? Uh, don't mind us. We're just talking about the festival. It's the perfect opportunity to find yourself a groom, Elise. Can't say I'm interested, if I'm honest. Don't try her patience, Merlin. I was right about Elise's age when I met Tristan. Luke's too. Lucas? Lucas too? Oh, she's, oh, she's going through, oh, she was going through the men back then. Oh, she had herself a little, little play. Uh, he wasn't much older when he left for Primadorf to get married. Oh wait, no, that was her son, probably. I was, I was thinking that um, that might have been like another man on the side or something. Um, that's her son. Oh, sorry. I was like, oh, she had like another boyfriend or something. Oh my god, because in this time period, I can imagine you're with one man and that's. With one person, really, and that's that's all she wrote. That's it. I was like, oh, she has another person, but it's really, I'm pretty sure, it looks like her son. So, you know, yeah. Uh, what did I tell you? I won't hear another word about your brother, Linda. Oh, it was her brother, not her son. I was so close. It was related. It's best I leave them to it. Uh, time for work. I kind of want to talk to everyone before I start working. At least I would say. Since it gives me time to, um, talk to everyone just in case there's like a time preference moment where I have to talk to them. What is this? Ella's loves Aladdin? It must be, uh, this must have been left by some guest, I guess. Oh, people talking about how they love each other. I guess. Wilma's shack. I wonder what she's keeping in there. I don't know, there's a shack over here. Anything I can do over here? Okay, I don't want to start 
doing some weird stuff. What's, what's up these little two kids? What a mess. I'll be going for this, I suppose. Well, I wasn't trying to. Hello, little kids. Little children. Are you here to prank Wilma, too? Zoka, why did you tell her? What's this about pranking Wilma? That's nothing to do with you. Oh, no you don't. Out with it, you two. Either spill it or I'm telling Miss Wilma everything I just heard. Please, Elise, don't tell anyone. Join us then, let's prank her together. Alpha? Dill, wait, I said Dill? Wait, what? I just said Dill? Hooray, so what's this about? Buckets. Buckets? We're hanging buckets of water above the inn's front door, Elise. So that's when she comes out. Splash! And and how are you two expected to do this without being seen? Uh, we, um... Well... Oh no, bad con artist. Someone, these are the kind of people that would say they're gonna rob the bank and then figure out how do I rob the bank? <laughs> For goodness sake. I love her design, like, oh yeah, she, oh wait, I didn't, actually, Wilma is like, really, uh, she was a love interest, that's all I'm saying. She'd probably be the top one. She'd be the top one, I'll say that much. Forget Rosemary, Freya, Leb, this is the one. This is the one I'm, 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 I want to be for. Oh, it's you, Elise. Was it? Uh, what do you sell again? You sell a lot of matches. Bandages. Uh, what is it? Ointments. Grape juice. That gives you plus 10 sanity. I think this is what I really want is sanity. And it's all uh, Walpargas oil. That gives like 50 sanity, which is insane. Like be clear, that's a lot. So yeah. I sure that's all, sweetheart? Yep, I'm very sure that's all. Okay. Also, I like how I was like, I was I had I really forgot who Wilma was for a second. I was like, who the heck is Wilma? But now that I remember who she is, you can't prank her. She's beautiful. She's a lovely woman. And possibly love interest if we could do that. I think there's like another part of the town over here. Yeah. That I might have to come to. Is this is this it? I think is this all the town there is, I believe? Yeah. Also, my phone is basically dead. Let me charge this bad boy right here. Okay, now we gotta uh, start doing stuff. So we're probably not going to go um, hang out with Leb or Freya, because I kind of want money. <laughs> I'm glad you dropped by, Elise. Won't you lend me a hand? I have my hands full tidying up uh, that windstorm you see. I can lend you a hand with that Miss Arin. I still don't know how to say it. I think I literally called her Ariana one time, like Ariana Grande. <laughs> and she's not. So I saw her name, I was like, Ariana? I was hoping you could fetch some eggs from the coop. Oh my God, my dog is drinking water. Besides that point, these chickens are the bane of my existence. I promise you, if I could, I would strangle all these chickens. Hate them so much. Hate them. I wish they would. All I say is I want some chicken soup. I dare say that they're still right up after last night. Mm. 
Mm, that's their excuse. Also, let's be quite honest. Chickens are vicious. They will, they will hurt you. Like in real life, they will mess you up <laughs> if you're not careful. I don't want chicken frenzy. Okay, press E to pick it up. Okay. 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 Give me the fudging egg! I, I, I didn't even look that direction. Come on. No! Give me the egg. Okay, I promise you sometimes it like makes you... So like, it does like a little animation. I hate it so much. So, when you're getting these eggs, you do like a little animation of picking it up like, Wow, I picked it up! And then you, you don't know which way you're turning. No, no, you're not getting me this time. Okay. Ah, oh, you dirty monster. Gimme. Oh my god, I'm actually doing really good at this. Oh my god, the first time I did this, I was trash. Oh my god, how good did I do actually do with that? Score 27? Oh my god. B? And did that get only got a B? Oh my god, B? How dare you? My fingers will need traumatic therapy after what happened with these chickens. I only got a B. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> um, I could try again for five. I'm I'm broke though, so I can't. <laughs> yeah, I pass. Yay. Oh my, these will hardly do. Lady, I could be like twenty-seven eggs. What are you talking about? How many eggs do you need? I was eating 27 eggs. I promise you, we literally get eggs at our house. And there was like, at one point in our house, four, over 14 people in this house before. And we didn't eat that many eggs. What are you on about? <laughs> like, what, what? How many eggs do you need? Like, exactly. Henstridge is going to be rather disappointed. The poor lad. How many eggs is, what is this guy doing with these eggs? Like, I would have to think that he's throwing, like, some kind of, like, egg party. Like, like he's egging someone's house. He's, like, making scrambled eggs for the entire town. Like, what are you on about? For your time, Elise. Ooh, 32. Thank you, Miss Ariana. So, it is now... The afternoon, I believe. Yep, the romantic dates are available. But what I will tell you is I'm about to go and get me some food. Because I'm a hungry, hungry gal. And she needs her uh, delicious food. Oh, hello. Why can't I even talk to this lady? I can do stuff for her. I didn't even know I could do stuff for her. Personally. I didn't even know. Hello, I'm here for some foods, cause I'm hungry. I'm buying. Ah, I forget how expensive bread is. So fudging expensive. <laughs> Realize you got yourself like 30 something dollars and you're like, oh my God, and the price of bread is like $10 each. What kind of economy are we living in? Like, seriously. <laughs> Anything else? Pretzels, maybe? No, no pretzels. No, no. No pretzels. See ya, Granny. Thank you. But like, seriously. That, that, that many. That many. Pieces of bread only got me that much. Of course, I'm gonna start eating them. I think I might eat, like, one more. Yeah, that's it. Actually, no, I'll get myself full. Because I'm going to go get more money anyway, because I'm going to go work. 
because eventually I do want to go get some um of the sanity stuff. Some what is it called? What are you guys doing? Hello, what are you doing over here? Working on Sunday again, Elise. I had to keep myself fed, I'd say. Say, Elise, we've been considering rebuilding these homes. These piles of rubble? What for? Told you, fellas. Not a soul in Kieferberg will give it time of the day. I don't see how it's going to be worth the hassle, that's all. It's such a shame. They're sitting right by the village square, too. But who could choose to settle in Kieferberg of all places? Come now, folks. If we don't rebuild our own town, who will? He's not wrong there, because some random stranger is going to come in and be like, I like this place. Get a whole renovation team and start just renovating and building it. No one's going to do that. Let's start doing some kind of... What is it? What do they call it? A charity project? <laughs> For their own like personal reasons. Uh, you're right, Gustav. This is our home after all. There's no swaying you two, is there? Which, I mean, it's pretty reasonable to want to rebuild your own town. I just guess the only problem I see is that there's not people that would possibly. Who's this girl? I forget. I really can't even tell who this girl. Forget, I really forget who that is. Oh. Now were these people were these little kids over here? When I literally just left. No idea. Elise, Elise! I'm busy, shoo shoo. These are kids that were playing the pranks. <laughs> You're so boring, Elise. No wonder you're always in such a bad mood, Elise. Oh, I'll tell you who's always in a bad mood, you little... Poor Elise, come play with us. She won't, she's a coward. Coward? Coward! Oh, I'll show you coward. Give me that. How did you do that, Elise? Oh, she's good. You did it from so far, Elise. You're making too much of it, you brats. Your arms are longer, that's why. Cheater, cheater, you're a cheater. Could you imagine LeBron James playing basketball? And then people be like, LeBron James, he's a cheater because his legs are too long. He is too tall, so he is cheating. Like every other basketball player who's tall, they're cheating. Could you imagine that? That'd be so, so weird. Just thinking about it, like, why? <laughs> why you... Little kids. I think it is. Ooh, I've never seen this dog before. There's so many dogs around here. It's insane. Technically, I really could just like, every time you go through an hour, I think you can like have a new conversation with people. It's wonderful seeing, uh, it's wonderful seeing the laddies making Mary, isn't it? What? I said laddies? I'm sorry, ladies making Mary, isn't it? What do you mean, Mary? It reminds me of my time with Gretel and your grandmother, Elise. You three used to be very close, I remember. Oh, you got just up to some mischief, that's for uh, certain. Oh, she mean Mary as in like... Oh, okay, I, th I understand what you're saying. I let you know, like, like, a Merry Christmas is kind of like a happy Christmas, so basically... Kind of like happiness. Like getting, like, doing fun and stuff. Uh, that's hard to imagine if I'm honest. Seeing those uh, lad ladies, let's say laddies or laddies, ladies. Uh, eh. 
Running about gives me the hopes. Give me hope, please. You Frey and Leb, you two all good girls. I can't say I won't leave town eventually, Miss Merchantild. Kiffenberg is our home, at least. I would say that alone is worth our while. I suppose. I mean, there's nothing wrong with someone wanting to, like, explore the world and see new things. And maybe if they think that, uh, the world has more to offer to them, then maybe it does. Lab and I used to play about in the water all the time, didn't we? Though we're a little too old for that now, I suppose. For the more, I, for more decorated with blooming flowers, Kieferberg's crest up top, the square fountain is an ancient glory. Hello. Oh, Elise. Ah, Elise, perfect timing. What's the matter, Miss Merrill? Poor Ottilie's losing her wits, you see. She's rather superstitious, after all. I suppose it could be a be bad, considering her age. I mean, you know, mental illnesses tend to start popping up a lot when you get older, so. You know, you know. She's been coming in and out of the alleys, too. I suppose she's fretting over the damage, but are you done with the cleanup, Miss Arena? I call Arin. Erin? Uh, it's taking a while. It's, but it's coming along. Oddly, won't last a week carrying on like this. Without our support, I'm afraid she'll. She'll what? What will she do? I'm sure she wouldn't do anything crazy. Like killing somebody because they think they're a witch. <laughs> no, that couldn't be. Good morning. Uh, I say good morning. More uh, more good than bad coming our way, God willing. You best keep a positive outlook, Ludwig. The festival's a week away. Are you still talking about the windstorm? Even the last has heard enough of that, you see. Old Joshin, right again, old Joshin, again, keep talking about the witch. Not only that, it's also probably Audley, but I feel like she might actually have a mental illness that should be talked about. <laughs> it's usually these old people that are like, talking about the witch more than anything. It seems like the younger crowd, more or less, they talk about it, but not in the way that the older generation seems to talk about it. Old Joshin's right. It's more than a mere windstorm. Oh, for goodness sake. I think I speak for all Kieferberg when I say it's better to be safe than sorry, that's all. Spending their nonce, spreading their nonsense about is doing nothing more than harm. I can't read. Spreading their nonsense about town is doing more harm than good, Mr. Ludwig. I have to agree, Old Audley is losing her wits. Father Hans can have a word with her later. As for us, we have to act before it's too late. I will hear we'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, like uh giving an old lady mental problems because for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Mr. Wilhelm has been keeping himself busy, it seems. Covered in dents and scratches, the anvil's smooth surface glistens in the sunlight. These cats are very loud. Like, I can hear the, the purring a lot. Uh... Okay, let's go. Hello. Hello, who are you? What is this? I can't stop you. Oh, Elise. You don't look so good, Miss Dorth Dorothea. Have you seen Milfy? Milfy? By any chance? I ought to make sure she's doing her daily readings. She's awfully behind. No, I haven't. Wait, I think I did see her, though. Oh, I think I know who this is. Okay, so when it happens, I'm gonna have a word. I'm gonna have some things to say, because this lady, this woman, not this woman right here I'm talking to. I don't know what the developers did, but like, there's some kind of ongoing gag here. Like, 
I'm not sure if they messed it up or what, but I'll, I'll speak of it when it happens. Have you tried asking Miss uh, Lorley? Lorley outside? Probably Lorley or Lorley. Yes, I was told she was sent to the well for water, but she's not there. Oh, Elise, I can only pray she's all right. She does wander off quite often, doesn't she? Will you please tell her if you see her? I think I actually do know where she is, though. Like, I really do think I know where she is. I'm pretty sure it's that little girl that was next to the, um... The rotten apples. So let's go ahead and get to her. Hey, you! Miss Dorothy's looking for you, Molly. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. It seems to be still a problem. Her name's Molly. Then they call her Milfy. Or Miffy. What's her name? Muff. Her name is Muffy. But then they call her Molly. Then they call her Miffy. Someone was at my door, but still, um, Miffy, Muffy, Milfy, this woman's name changes every single time. I promise you, you will see her name has changed eight different times throughout this entire playthrough, I promise you. I say that like I've played through the entire game, but I haven't, but just playing it right now, her name has changed, uh, one, two, three, three times, if we count her name just being Muffy right here. I'm not, this has to be an ongoing gag or something, like, is autocorrect just, like, doing something? Not the daily readings. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm, I'm not going back, Elise. It's Sunday. So I'm working either way, aren't I? But, but you're different. What's that? What's that? I'm just a girl. I can't be working all day like you. Wait. I'm sorry, is Elise not a girl, too? <laughs> it's just suddenly just become something other than a woman? Other than a girl, I guess? Molly can really, can get herself in trouble all she wants. I couldn't care less. So do I like, talk to her mother or whoever and tell her that uh, this is where she is? Because I found her. I say that much. I found her. That's all I can say. Goodness, Elise. Did you find her? She's out eating everything she can find, it seems. She's eating those nasty apples? Ew. Oh, what am I to do with that girl? Is this her sister or just her mother? I'm unsure. Oh, you best leave her be, Miss Dorothea. Probably her mother if you're calling someone Miss Dorothea. You know, someone that's usually like, I guess you would say on your level. I make it sound weird, like on your level, on your status, like from elder to peer, basically. You call someone that you know is a, an elder, I guess, or something, but more authority, Miss or Mister, or if you're just trying to be, um, what is it, not rude and just polite to a stranger. But other than that, usually your peers, you don't add a Miss or Mister. That's weird. Could you imagine? Hey, buddy, how you Mister? Something? That'd be weird unless you're trying to make a joke. Uh, I'll have a word with Miss Lorelei. That's what. I got this for her, but you can have it. Ooh, ointment. Oh, you didn't have to, Miss Dorothea. Mindy. I'm sorry. I want you to look at that name real quick. Mindy's. Who the F is Mindy? Who the fudge is Mindy? I'm sorry. This, I promise you, this little girl's name changes everything. I have to think that she's actually the true witch. She's the one, she's playing mind games right now. She has confused this poor woman into thinking that she is her daughter and everyone else. This entire 
freaking village. That's my conspiracy theory for this entire thing. Muffy, Milky, I don't even know her name at this point. God, I can't remember which freaking name she is at this point. Muffy, whatever her name is, literally has cast a spell on everyone to make them think that she is her daughter and she's messed with her brain so much, so, so much. She can't even tell what her name is. That's my conspiracy theory with all this, like I promise you. Because I haven't seen the end of the game, so that could well be actually true. Because this woman's name changes every single time. Like, what's uh, that fudge? <laughs> I don't understand. I suppose. Like, it, it's insane how much this woman's name changes. Like, why? What house is this? Old folks' homes are left behind to rot after they go on to meet their maker, huh? Such a waste, isn't it? If it's such a waste, why don't you just live there? I mean, you're also probably the reason why you're still living in the um, woods is probably because it's your grandma's house. And you don't want it to go to like poop. Hello. Wait, Audley? Oh, what am I to do, Elise? Father Hans knows what best for us, Audley. Is everything all right, Miss Merlin? Bertha said it came from the woodlands. Oh my god, these ladies. They are actually like enforcing this this poor woman's probably terrible, already terrible mental health. Like, leave her alone. She is about to have a psychotic breakdown. Oh, Josh has been waiting on about this nonsense, you see. Oh, we need to convince Father Hans to tell us the truth. What truth, Audley? Father Hans can't help us. I said, what truth? Yeah. Father Hans knows as much as we do, anyhow. Old Stefan warned us last. He said we that we, for goodness sake. Old Stefan was on his deathbed. We can't keep on clinging to his gibberish. You may be right, Marilyn, yet I still... Gather your prayers and compose yourself now. Oh, I suppose. I'm assuming suspicion can't go down to like the negative, so... It doesn't even matter, but I just don't want my suspicion to go up. I guess, you could say. Is there anything new over here? No. Hello, who are you? Who the heck is this? Oh, it's Wilma. I promise you, I don't remember faces, I just remember names at this point. Like, actually. <laughs> this, is a, this is a game where usually, I, I usually in real life, I remember faces other than names, but this... I don't remember faces. I mean, I mean with makeup like that, I think I would have remembered you. There you are, lassie. Here I am, Wilma. Wait, this is Wilma. Who's the lady on the inside? I'm sorry, it's just the same lady I was talking about who she was hot. You heard I, you've heard I'm sure about the windstorm. Yes. Oh, to hell with that nonsense. I'm t I'm talking about the festival. Oh, what about it, Miss Wilma? My, Elise, I didn't take you for a simpleton. What do you take me for then? What do you need, a Miss Miss Wilma? Like, let's let's be quite honest. Like, what do you need? Should I get Should I get like ratty with her? Cause like. Call me a simpleton? How dare you? How dare you? What do you take me for then? I appreciate it if you didn't insult me, Miss Wilma. Why well, you're acting as though I called you a witch, Elise? I wouldn't put it past you at this point. My, is that a threat? It's too bad I'm not a proper witch. I wouldn't you say? Oh no. You ought to, you ought to say such things, Elise. How distasteful you can get, you little. Whatever you say, Miss Wilma. Ah, uh, my suspicion actually did go up. Okay, well, first off, she disrespected me. She was like, how dare you? So isn't this also Wilma in here? There's no way this is the same people. Wilma. As in Wilma? Okay, what's the other lady's name? Like, what's, what's the other lady's name? This is Wilma. Is it the other Wilma? Is that her name? Okay, Wilma with an E. You are... 
I, I didn't get to. I could just actually. Hold up. I could just go back to the log with L. Can't I? Uh. Uh. Yeah, this is Wilma with an I. That's what it was. I was like, they're both Wilma. One's Wilma, one's Wilma. Okay. Now I understand. I was very confused. I was very, very confused. Let's get that very straight. Because I was like, huh? Okay, I think I've really talked to anyone, everyone I need to talk to. Uh, what do you want? Promise me for chickens again. I'm, I'm not doing chickens. Are you busy, I wonder? What do you need, Miss Linda? I was hoping you can collect some eggs. No, no. No, you know what I'm saying. I'm rather busy, no? No, no, no. I asked Jacob, but the poor lad's afraid of the hens. I'm, I, I wonder why. I really wonder why he's afraid of these hens. These devil spawn hens that are literally clucking and pecking people's fingers off. Literally, my fingers are not this, they're like half, they're barely hanging on my hand after what those chickens did before. I've actually never done this um, task. I've only ever done the chickens. Where's my dog? What's she doing? I don't know what she's doing. Hello. Ah, Elise, could you lend me a hand? Won't you chop some firewood for me tonight? What about us using these branches scattered about town? Oh, I wouldn't want to touch those. Even though they're proper wood too. You know, it costs less effort, but I mean, I'm getting paid, so whatever. Leave it to me. So I've never done this. I don't know how this works. How many locks would you like, Miss Linda? L I'm sorry, Linda. Elizabeth. I'll be needing quite a few to make some cheese later. So don't hold back. Alright, I'll be on my way. Why don't you ask? Oh, I didn't get this receipt. What did I say? But like, yeah, she's having a chop, chop, chop. She's definitely having a time in those hills. <laughs> Okay. So, what do I do? Eat a chop and R to kick. Oh, I think I understand now. Two. One. Chop. Chop. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. They're all freaking chickens. Oh, what the fudge is the- Ow! Oh my god, I'm kicking- Oh my god, the things that I'm kicking are insane. Oh no, I'm sorry. I was literally kicking Leb. Not Leb. Flock. Okay, okay, I can do this, I can do this. Get out of here. Okay. 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 Give me money. No! How good did I do? Because I feel like I did. I didn't do that well. Forty nine is. It's only A. I feel like I could do better. I feel like I can actually get probably like an S or something. Because I know there's an S rank in this. I feel like I can get S. So like, yes or no? I have I have the money for it, don't I? I want to try this again. I actually want to try this again. So I believe I can do better. I do really good in this. Get out, get out, get out, <laughs> here go, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, oh no, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, go, Okay, okay, okay. I can do really good. I can do really good. I just need to get myself together. Get it, get it together, Elise. Get it together. 
go. Ah, fudge. I should about to do worse than I did last time. That's terrible. I literally did the same. I literally did the same. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to this one eventually. I literally did the exact same I did before. I'm wasting more money on it. Should I try again? Am I a freaking addict? Am I a gambling addict? Literally, I have to ask myself this because I am literally, I did the same I did before. I'm literally about to go for a second try. If I didn't win the first two times, technically I won. I'm I'm gonna try this again this time, I promise you. I was too bad. I wanna get to like 50 at least. This time, this time, this time, I promise you. Better, I'm doing better. La 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 The reason why I'm doing laws is because it helps me keep myself in rhythm. That's what that's the reason why I'm saying that, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's annoying, but it kinda keeps me in together. Da 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 Ah fudge Da 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 I promise if I got 49 again, I'm actually gonna scream. Fudge! I'm t okay, this game is actually running me ragged. It's running me ragged. It's actually, it took like. It took ten dollars for me. No, no, no. I can't even do it again if I wanted to. <sighs> I want to get S rank. <laughs> At least I won't have. I won't have to chop wood for an entire week. I, I want to get S. I know that's an S rank too. I suppose I got a little carried away. I wish I got more carried away. This isn't nearly enough to um, compensate you, but. How much are you gonna give me? Oh, that's a lot. It's plenty, Miss um, Elizabeth. I should have just taken that and just kept the money I already had. I would have given like fifty something like dollars to work with. Instead, I uh, decided to. Uh... Actually, no. I think I would have gave me to actually forty nine dollars. Yeah, since I only had like seven left, and it's seven plus two, so we gave me just almost to fifty. Uh, it's plenty, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you. I promise you. Can I still work? I promise you, I will work. I, I will work. Or does it have to be at home at dusk because I need to... Yeah, I need to go Rosemary's romantic little stuff. But I want money. I want money. Hello, what are you doing? Looking after the flowers, are you? Uh, at least. Mama asked me to look after the hearth. For a bit. Instead, you're out here playing with Lily. Lily? Huh? It's so boring. I'll give it a glance at once in a while. I wonder what Miss Linda would say to uh, say about that, Jacob. Jacob? Oh, but you wouldn't tell her, would you? Not if you promise to keep a proper eye on it. I won't. I promise, Elise. You better be spending. You've been spending too much time with Alf, Alpif, Alpif, Alpif. How do I say his name? Maybe the P is silent. I don't know. Uh, we came up with another idea to prank Wilma. Alf's over there planning it right now. I might pay a little visit then. Hey, if it's Wilma, was it? A, Wilma, actually, as long as it's Wilma, the one with an E. Not the one with the eye. 
I don't give a care. I don't care. They can do it because that woman is terrible. She is mean. That's what I will say. I don't like her. She raped my suspicion and she called me simpleton. Like I was supposed to take it. And then she just, after taking it, she didn't raise suspicion on me because I'm the one that's the problem. I'm the problem here, ma'am. I think you're the problem here. It looked at me getting so wrought up for nothing. So, so weird. I don't know. I do hope she does catch on fire at this point. That's for certain. What? What'd she say? What do you mean? What? What? What, what are you on about? Eh? Oh, hi, dog. Hi. Okay, there's no need to try to lick me. She's like, my bed is right next to my um desk, so she's basically like face high. So she's able to like give me kisses, which I don't want to kisses because I don't. If you don't know this, dogs try to get into your mouth. I don't need my dog licking in my mouth. I was talking and she was like, lick, lick, lick. I was like, no, stop it. I thought you'd be a uh, hold up in church all day, Leb. I'm waiting for Miss Audley. She asked me to pray the rose rosary with her outside. She says she needs blessing after lending a hand in the alleys. Lending a hand? What's she doing out there? Why are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you need to go out? Or something? Well, I'll take you out soon. I'll take you out soon, dog. Slimmer, no. Okay. Uh, what you, okay, I'm having dog moments right now. Sorry, um, what's she doing out there? Waiting on about the witch. Oh, she's jumping around too. She really does need to go out. Probably. Yeah, so I probably only have like, how long has it been going on? About two hours. Probably about the rate I said I'll probably stop. So I'll probably actually stop here. Actually. Probably be like a good place to stop. At the next episode, we can really get into some, get into some shenanigans and stuff. If I'm being quite honest. That's what some juicy stuff is going to happen. So I say yes. You put up with too much of this nonsense, Leb. You know my answer to that, Elise. It's my duty to play make-believe with Miss Audley all day when you, un you wouldn't understand. Elise. You have me f fretting over you at this rate, you know? Aren't you already? No more than you fret over me, unnecessarily, I'll add. Speaking of Miss Audley, she's rather late. I can keep you company until she comes about, Leb. My good deed for the day. I have a better idea for your good deed of the day, Miss uh, Day Elise. Moving along to work and stop wasting my time? <laughs> I'll be seeing you later. I will be seeing you later, yes. So, there's so many more people I need to talk to, but I gotta take my dog out and um, probably do other stuff because it's been going on for some time probably next time i like stream i might go on for like longer or less most likely longer because i don't see myself streaming this at like small intervals or like small us uh, what is it streaming it at small times like probably be like a couple hours at the very least it'll probably be more than one hour i'll say that much but and that is where I will be ending the stream because dog problems and other stuff. So I do hope that you did enjoy this little thing for what it really was. Um, this is Little Goody Two Shoes and I'm playing it. I'm really happy I finally get to play it. I've been fretting over it, thinking about when I was going to do it. Now that I have an entire month off. I can say I can dedicate my time to doing this and possibly, no, not possibly, also uploading some videos because I have so many videos in the background that I just haven't recorded and I need to get rid of and start uploading. So it's, there's a lot going on that luckily by the end of it I can empty my um, 
files of all these extra footage that I just been hoarding like a hoarder. But that is where we end this video off. So hopefully you had a wonderful time, a wonderful day, because I had a time, thing, and place doing this. Hope you have a wonderful time, everybody, and goodbye, everybody.